Hey y'all, it's Anime Game and today I'm going to be reading episode 56 of Gekigo no Gotaro. And let me just get this out of the way. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of this specific episode. And let me explain why now. Let me just start out by talking about what I liked about this episode. I really liked Johnny the Yokai in this episode, which is who they call the Elite Vampire. And I thought he had a pretty interesting backstory, so I'll give the episode dues for that. I thought he was a cool and dynamic character, at least for the short amount of time he was in. And I kind of like the backstory where Johnny wasn't necessarily a powerful yokai yet through using his smarts and also he was able to pretty much just gather, use his abilities to like take control a large amount of crowds of people, possess them, and to take down targets and even yokais that were in elite standing because Johnny is pretty much a vampire yokai but on like a low level versus other elite vampire yokai which in the flashback it implied that he used large crowds of humans to get rid of them. So that's what makes him specifically interesting because it shows you a yokai that, does, that doesn't out muscle or overpower um, overpower humans or yokai to get what they want. This is more like a yokai using their smarts in order to do that. So this gives the episode a bit of fresh air. And he had an interesting goal where it was to take over Japan and, and then leave the world through, say, indirect means. So that was nice because he's not the usual, oh, let me take over the world type of yokai. No, he wanted to do it indirectly by take pos possessing elites and then controlling the world to through them. So uh, that was, I, I feel well done from a story standpoint. What I didn't, and it also was does done well from a character standpoint because Johnny was interesting, but what didn't sit well with me though was the rat man shit. I mean, it's like, oh God. The Ratman shit is what this episode really, 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 I didn't enjoy. Let me explain why. Now, when you have um, Johnny and Ratman pretty much work together because he offers Ratman a job or he's going to offer him money and all that. And then he's getting his sad backstory and then Ratman mentions how he never hits it awful with humans or yokai because Ratman's half human and half yokai, and he's sad and he's sad about it. And then, but then he also feels sad about Johnny's story because he can sympathize with them. And I was like, you know what? This is pretty darn good in the first half. Then the second half, when Johnny betrays Ratman, throws him into a fucking lake out of body water to die, to fucking die. And then you have a few. And then Ratman said himself was farts, which I was okay with that. I was cool with that. I was cool with that. And then Ratman indirectly saves the day. He doesn't do it directly. And technically, well, he did get into deep shit because of Ratman from the first place. So I guess it can't give him too much glory. Because, I mean, I guess he was the one who fucking helped cause this shit in the first place. But he helped indirectly take down Johnny when, um, when it... Um, Guitaro and Cat Chick were possessed by Johnny's music, and that's the reason why Johnny went down. There was just one thing that really didn't sit well with me, because afterwards, when you have Johnny dissipating and Guitaro's about to do his beautiful finger gun, Ratman stops Guitaro from doing that, and now I'm just thinking, Ratman, this motherfucker tried to, damn, try to like fucking suffocate you in the fucking water. I don't know, but that's a pretty fucking terrible death. <laughs> like, jeez. So, that didn't sit well with me because for one, uh, no, uh, most normal people would be like, you know what, fuck this motherfucker. Cap, cap a bullet up his ass. And then when, and then you see fucking Ratman crying that Johnny's dissipating and I'm like, I don't even feel that fits in with Ratman's character because the series has shown Ratman to be selfish. And while, yes, we have seen him have instances of sympathy, like 
when he was going to marry this woman that swindled, swindled him and all that. And at the end, he didn't want them to harm um, the woman Yoka, which was in that wedding episode, that wedding episode where the woman was faking it. I understood that at the very least because that was a person that uh, Ratman was really dead set on wanting to marry until all that shit came out. I understood that there. Here, it's fucking different. And that's why when I saw Ratman cry, I was like, no. Toby, you don't earn my emotions because they haven't really shown any moments where that are really semi-redeeming of Ratman. Now, I'm not saying that Ratman should be fucking a hero of justice every episode. Just... If they wanted this emotional impact, they should have more moments where Ratman isn't a complete fucking dick. That's all. And then he's just crying, and I'm like, I'm out. I, I ain't feeling jack shit. And that, those are the type of moments that stop what could have been an amazing episode from achieving that greatness, at least from my book. Now, and then in addition to that, they just fucking keep on teasing us with the whole rap man and guitar eating ramen, which they haven't also shown throughout the whole. It's it's episode fifty six, and no, everyone, the ending themes do not count. They don't count. We we have to actually see that in a at least me. I want to see that in a fucking canon episode because this is in Japan in the morning time slot. Where a lot of young audiences, kids, watch it. Uh, it. I think it airs like half hour before One Piece. And I'm assuming a lot of those kids haven't seen the previous versions of Gegege no Guitaro just like me. So, uh, Guitaro and Ratman eating ramen in an ending theme is not enough. It's not enough. And uh, that's why uh, this episode, I mean, it, it, it's, I mean, it set itself up decently for to have a guitar roll and Ratman moment, and it just didn't do that. I mean, I guess you could say that. I guess there was some, some a bit of character in of Ratman because at the start he didn't want to eat raw with guitar because like I want to eat an expensive steak, and then it ends with Ratman saying, "All right, let's eat ramen," but guitar is buying, and then they're both wondering how guitar is going to pay for it. And you know, that'd be nice if we can only, if only we see them do shit together. Because really the only characters in the show that actually do shit together is Cat Chick and Mana. That relationship feels authentic. Hell, sometimes we even see um, Kitaro and Cat Chick do things together. Like when they were doing that little bit of shopping in the one Yando episode, Diamond episode. Or again, when Kitaro and Cat Chick, when. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't those two. It was actually Mana and Cat Chick giving advice to Yuki Yo Ona. You know, stuff like that. Or we have Kitaro and his dad do things together, but. Uh, that dynamic between Kitaro and Ratman. That lack of it is what really makes this episode lack a punch. And that's why I really didn't care too much for it. Because the show hasn't really done... It hasn't done a good job of making me care about Ratman. But I am... Alright. And that's why... From a character standpoint... What the stuff it did to Johnny... It was great. Stuff for Ratman... It was not so great. So... That's why from a character standpoint... I thought it did... Uh, the bare minimum. Now... As for the art animation, they, it was actually great in the first half, but the second half... Uh, it, there were a few stills here and there. It lacked impact that the first half had, honestly. And uh, I'd say the soundtrack was the only thing that was exceptional. Because you had some new beautiful OSTs. And the voice performances were great. So from a voice standpoint, from a sound standpoint, this episode did phenomenal. Now, taking all these factors in consideration, though, I am going to rate this episode 5 out of 10, which is average, which is pretty much on the average of my skill. 
Because even though there were things I didn't like about this episode, Johnny lifted it enough so that at the very least this episode feels average. And that's what the handicaps of this episode having like weak animation art, at least for Gekage no Guitar standards. So that's why I still have to give this episode its, its dues. It's not bad. It's all right. But that's about it though. Just the only annoying thing is this episode could have been really, really great. But next week does look like it's going to be a great episode. Good to see Acneus again, so I'm pumped up for that. So anyways, guys and gals, these are my thoughts on Gekage no Guitar episode 56. Comment your thoughts in the comments section below whether you liked this episode more than I did or liked it less. And why you liked it and, and all that. So rate the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. If you subscribe for more, and hopefully the next week's Gekage no Guitar episode is... It's full of awesomeness. Alright. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Bye bye.